Field experiments at a government training facility demonstrate that a single human can manage a swarm of a hundred or more autonomous drones and ground robots without added stress, according to the U.S. Defense Department's research agency, DARPA. The swarm commander uses a virtual reality interface to deploy and monitor the vehicles within a 10-block simulated environment. Their mission? To navigate the urban environment, avoiding obstacles and power lines to collect intelligence. The swarm commander can uh, basically hit a single button to issue multiple tactics uh, to the swarm so that the swarm can go out and do the things that it's supposed to do, such as uh, look at a building and try to identify information that's relevant to the mission. The findings show potential for military as well as civilian purposes, such as sending out drones to respond to natural disasters. The long-term dream goal is actually to be able to have heterogeneous teams of robots working alongside teams of humans in something like wildland fire response or disaster response in order to have a true societal impact. We want to be able to have humans focus on the tasks that they absolutely must do that robots really can't do, um, but also ensure that our responders, for example, are safer, that we're giving them technologies that help them uh, to deal with the situations that they are in. Drones can also be used and in fact are already being used for speedier package deliveries. Currently, the FAA regulations limit how many vehicles a single individual can uh, supervise in doing these kinds of tasks. And in the future, we would like to be able to scale that number up for a single individual. The results that we, we obtained in this paper are the first objective results that demonstrate that a single human can be responsible for very large numbers of these vehicles and will help inform future FAA regulations and uh, the future directions of the delivery drone companies. The program is still in development, but researchers say their findings may quickly have impacts overseas as well as in the U.S. Julie Tabo, VOA News.